Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for episode eight of season one of Better Call Saul. Let's get to it. I can't open it. I don't know what this is, but she's such a friend. She said she was slam. I'm just gonna open a letter. So what does it say? <laughs> More than I must call to your attention the Pass new the environmental I impact and sustainability. And I found a law school that would accept me. I mean, it wasn't Georgetown or anything, but <sighs> the University of American Samoa. Correspondence. <laughs> Uh, I will sue the store for you. you. Just remember us when you're all big time. Huh? I don't remember you now, Bert. <laughs> you represent the mail room, so you show those upstairs jackholes how it is. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, what brother. are you guys up to? Having a party? Jimmy, we're all proud of you. Hey, I hate to interrupt, but could you guys give Jimmy and me a moment? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. The lights sound bad. We know they don't get along now. Uh, let's reassess in six months. Wow. Thanks for understanding, Jimmy. Uh, you want the door open or closed? Closed. And no one are hiring you, I assume. Jesus. Harold's a cunt. Harold? Oh, uh, Hamlin. All right. Thank you. You have a nice day. Aww. What she forgets? She dies. I got lucky, right? Even a stop clock is right twice a day. Now, this is no mom and pop outfit, okay? I dug around a little. They're owned by some kind of real estate investment trust. I'm working on getting more info. It feels very money laundering ish to me. You don't want to go off half cock. Full cock. <laughs> okay, no, I, I'm going to head back there. Thank you. You're the best. Careful, Jimmy. That's all I'm going to say. I have. Clients in there now. They have a legal right to meet with me. Well, you'll just have to arrange to meet them elsewhere. Oh, 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 come on, guys. Wow. Felony, so call your lawyers right now. Tell them I said that. Me, James McGill Esquire. I'm telling you guys, big mistake. How do you think that would go? <laughs> Jimmy's hilarious. Really? Jesus. That's what I said. Aren't you a term, motherfucker? It's not like we're close to being done. I mean, can't you get somebody else to do it? Right. They don't pay any of us enough for this. Yeah. Yeah. On and, on. and so I'm like, why are you your problem? My problem. Right. Like, you don't have enough problems. Disgusting. Oh my god, that's fucking awful. Poor Jimmy. Just sitting there, <laughs> not in the garbage. Just disgusting. You won't even know I'm here, okay? I just need some space and some quiet, and I'll be out of your hair as soon as stop, I can. Stop. It's okay. You can work here. Thanks. I don't mind the company. Aww. Eventually, you would figure it out. Like you would piece everything together. It's a question of how long it would actually take. <sighs> Days. together on this? That's up to you, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm this shit. Maybe so happy just now. I know it ends horribly. Chuck that around present day. 
And Chuck can handle this? Last time I saw him, he was... Last time you saw him, he wasn't himself, okay? This is good for him. Okay. Don't what? snitch, Kim. Of course, it's only a drop in the bucket. Are you asking me for help? They're the pistons, and you're the bulls. All right? All you gotta do is sit there and look intimidating. They're scared of you already, and they should be. Four actions together, and I was sure that we were sunk, but you, you quoted, what was it? Huh? Addiston, Pipe, and Steel. You turned it all antitrust, and the whole thing went away in summary judgment. For Billings, I prefer the classic term of fraud. You're looking at treble damages, so your hundred grand, I think you know where you can stick it. Poor Chuck. Well, Oop. what number exactly did you have in mind? 20 million. What? <laughs> what? 20. Jimmy, do you want to get started on the TRO? Yeah, yes. Concerned. Mike going to work. Let's go. Just realize what we're doing. You still in touch with your people? Depends on the type of work you're looking for. Your do's, your don'ts, your wills, your won'ts. Well, you tell me what you got. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's go. What's the about Chuck? Hope he knows what he's doing. I know this is not gonna work out 20 million wise. Did you get what I asked? The oh. uh, code provisions. Shit. Uh, Jimmy. Chuck. It... <laughs> Holy shit. That was episode eight of season one of Better Call Saul. Where to begin? We gotta start with the finish. No doubt. I don't know where this goes. I hope it goes where I um am. I hope Chuck has come to the realization that this is all in his head. He wasn't even thinking about it. He went outside. <laughs> he grabbed the electronics. He fucking did this, did that. Fucking didn't even realize it. Oh. Oh, Chuck. My fingers are crossed. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I really hope. I like Chuck a lot. I like Chuck because Jimmy loves Chuck. If I could put it simply. Um... That's for this case they're working on. First of all, good on you, Jimmy. Secondly, um, $20 million is a lot. I know you're shooting for 20, and then you can come to a settlement for 12, 15, something like that. That feels like a lot. Fucking Jimmy was saying one or two to uh, Kim on the phone. Speaking of which, she had a couple of like looks this episode like maybe she's not gonna she's not with the shits i mean she is working towards a promotion you don't want to piss off hamlin fucking dummy use his number yeah i don't know i don't know i'm so concerned even though i know all of these things turn out fine well have to turn out fine enough for them to go badly we know uh, Jimmy's alive. Saul. Uh, we 
we know Mike's alive. Um, him signing up to do uh, some less than reputable work in order to help pay for his daughter-in-law's and uh, granddaughter's <sighs> living situation, or at least comfortability. I'm here for it. I don't care why he's doing it. I just want to see him do it. Pause. Um, I like that actor. I don't know his fucking name. He was in an episode of Personal Interest. Uh, the lawyer that they're going up against. Uh, Jimmy and Chuck are. I like him. He, he, he can kind of do... Not complete scumbag, but clearly not the greatest of guys. Um, a guy, a lawyer that would work for a crop company. He does that well. Oh, they were fucking awful. Concerned about Chuck. Concerned about Kim. Not her well-being, but fucking what her, the move is. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.